Welcome to my garage door project for my fishing boat. Now this garage door has given me all kinds of problems. When we first got this property, the garage door literally fell off of its hinges on top of my dad. So there's definitely been a bad history with this garage door. And after fixing it, it's getting so bad now, it may fall on me someday or on my boat. Now that's not the only problem with the garage door. If you guys watched my boat washing video, you could see how tight it is to get my boat in and out of this door. On each side, there's only inches of clearance. In fact, there's a big white streak on both sides of my gunnel from hitting the sides of the garage door. Also, there's a height problem. I cannot have my windshield or my grab bar on when I back it into the garage. And I have uh, forgotten a couple of times and smashed my grab bar into the top of the garage door a couple of times. So it's bent and my console is cracked. Something I'll have to try to fix sometime in the future on my boat. Also, front to back, I've only got like a foot of space. Now, if I replace this garage door with a sliding garage door, here's what happens. I can cut up about a foot here and cut this off because that tan bar right there, that's where the roof is on the inside of the garage. If my calculations are correct, it's tall enough for me to leave my grab bar and my windshield off. Also, I'd be able to cut this out which gives me an extra foot or more side to side. And with the door sliding on the outside, I get a foot this way as well. So I have two foot of space inside instead of about one foot. I might be able to fit a bigger boat in there someday. Now, as you can see here, I got the rails. So these have to be mounted up here on that tan siding piece that's a block of wood behind it which uses these hangers they come with a short stubby bolt my buddy Alan wants me to use these in fact he's on his way here to help me put this part of the door up and he built the door frame he is a dirty welder a really good dirty welder he didn't have long enough pieces to like just make the door. He had to piecemeal that together and welded it together. And I tell you what, he did an incredible job. He's the one who helped me a long time ago convert a kayak trailer into a boat trailer by adding a long tongue to it. You couldn't tell that it was welded on. Of course, once the tracks are up, you have to install rollers onto the frame and put the frame on the tracks and then we're going to put metal on the frame i think we're using metal roofing on the frame which we actually don't have right now so this is going to take a couple of weeks before we get this completed this isn't the first video i've ever made that takes a couple of weeks to complete now hopefully here be here in a few seconds to help me put this together all right my buddy alan is here to help put this project together i guess i'll do a fast forward us doing everything. I think it's on there tight enough, it's shaking the whole garage door. That's good. We got the rail up. We only had a couple of issues. Broke one bolt and that didn't line up properly. The clamp that holds up the rail in the middle has two bolts to hold the two rails together and they weren't exactly lined up. But after beating on it a little bit, it lines up. So now all we have to do is put the door frame up somehow.
Tada! put metal on the door just to show you guys real quick we put a bolt up here to prevent this from coming off the track there's probably other ways you can do it but that's what we had on hand and so that's what we used all right this is the metal that we're going to use on the door i got it a little muddy And there it is. Almost done. Got to put a few more screws in it. And then we'll be cutting out the inside of the garage. I need a 7 16th also, man. Just like any construction job, one person doing the work, two people watching. <laughs> Now the door is off, we gotta cut the wood to open it up. Covers the whole hole. Now we gotta make it lockable and tidy up. Looks like the door is done. Now to test if I can pull the boat out and put it back in with the windshield on.
fits like a glove. Although I got to take down my LED light I put in there or simply raise it up. There we go, I can back it the rest of the way in. Now, as you can see here, I've still got trim work to do and I might be able to get a couple of more inches on this side. However, I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm gonna mark this as a complete successful build. Like they say about boats, it's always break out another thousand. And I think it was well worth opening this up so I could have more room to put this boat and possible future boats in the garage. Now I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would do me a huge, huge favor, hit that thumbs up to show you like this video. This is about as far away from fishing as one can get and still be about a fishing boat. So I hope at least a couple of you learned something. And as always, I wanna thank you for taking your time out of your day to actually watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. Now all I need to do is get this boat on the water again and catch some fish. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you next time.